This is the Singer 301A, and it is in the color scheme of what's called LBOW, or Light Beige Oyster White. Um, and the serial number on this machine is NB080369, and that should be on the listing. Uh, this machine is, is uh, like many machines, uh, was, was never broken. It just had gone without maintenance for a while. And uh, we have in the listing, we want to plug it in, of course, so it works. Um, in the listing, we've, we've, we've got a list there of all the things that were done to the machine to get it ready to sew. Uh, a lot of these things are just deferred maintenance. Um, and it involved a tremendous amount of cleaning. Uh, we went, we opened up the machine. Uh, both the underside and the top side, removed all the old grease that had been there, you know, we don't know how long, probably a long time, um, and any lint or dirt that was in there. <clears throat> and then we also cleaned out this area right here, which of course is uh, the bobbin case area, and then underneath the feed dogs. The plate, uh, the needle plate was removed, the feed dogs were removed, and uh, any lint or, um, or uh, old threads were removed. And then a new needle was installed. Overall, the machine is in fantastic condition. Uh, if you look at the photos that we have on the listing, you'll see a few places. There are a few places with uh, chipped paint, and you can see those in the photos. But for a machine of this age, it's in, it's in remarkably good shape. Um, a couple of the things that we added, we put in a new uh, bottom winder wheel. It's very common for these to have uh, dry run over the years, so that, that is new. Uh, we have a little new felt. This is, uh, these are easily found. Well, we always like to put new red felt washers. Um, we also uh, put in a, we have a replacement. This is not the original power cord. This is a replacement. But the machine does come with the original. I'm holding it up here. I'll be using it in a moment. To sew uh, the original Singer Bakelite foot controller. And the foot controller, these foot controllers are fantastic. Uh, very often they need cleaning. And so if you see in the back here, we removed uh, the screws, took the back off, and actually went in and cleaned uh, the contact points because there's carbon that builds up. And um, once you do that, you, it's amazing the difference in performance. So uh, again, we've listed a lot of these things on the listing, but I thought it would be nice to, uh, for you to see a video and see how the machine actually sews. So I'm going to uh, be sewing a couple of different things. This here is a, this is sort of, I guess, a lightweight uh, cotton fabric. This is something that many people, quilters in particular, often will sew with these. So we'll let you uh, see and hear the machine running. Get my thread tails here. And over here, of course, you have stitch length adjustment. This is a straight stitch machine only. Uh, but what an amazing straight stitch it performs. This is one of the reasons this machine is so collectible and popular. Um, I've got it on about 12 to, 12 to 13 right now. And if you look, I don't know if... Uh, my camera person here can zoom in or if you can see this but what you're seeing I'll turn the light off maybe it's a little clearer the stitch quality is amazing uh, I have a white top thread and then I have a blue bobbin thread and again that consistent even stitch is one of the things that it's known for doing um, and I'll uh, pick up the speed here you can see there it is going full throttle and then, of course, it does go in reverse as well. It's a full reverse speed machine, like many of the singers are. Um, and then I'll come back, and this time I'll go all the way down to a longer stitch length, and you can see if it's going to finish the fabric. It's going to feed it through a lot faster because the stitches are larger. And we'll just get her to go in reverse again. Move over to another spot here. And now I'm going to put it on a fine stitch, and I want to show you how uh, just that nice short fine stitch that the, uh, that the singers are known for. And I'm going to go in reverse again. And one of the things I like to uh, take a look at when I'm doing this is uh, singers particularly are known for their amazing ability to uh, allow the sewer to control the speed. 
Uh, some of the newer machines do this, but with the vintage machines, it wasn't always so easy. So I'm going to let up on the, on the foot control pedal. I want you to see how slow I can get the revolutions going. So if you're doing something where you're wanting to go slow, or you, and now I'm just, now you can see just the really short, um, little application of the accelerator pedal I'm making. See how short it goes. So again, you know, it's, it's really quite amazing uh, when you think about the control you have with these machines. So that's one of the many things that they're known for. Uh, again, the machine was fully serviced, um, all the old grease removed. Um, now, run it again really fast so you can see it sort of take off. Um, I normally don't sew that quickly, but if you do, uh, you certainly have that option. And now I'm going in reverse with a very, very short length stitch. You can see the, the consistency of the stitch right here. You can see it along my thumb here. And uh, so as you can see, that she, sew, she sews beautifully. Uh, light works fine. Uh, has a new um, size 16 organ brand needle installed. And, um, and of course, it does come with a, uh, the original bobbin case, which we showed you earlier. Um, and the bobbin winder works fine. That's been checked as well. So again, uh, this is the Singer 301A in the light beige oyster white. If you have any questions, please uh, send us a, a message on eBay there at the listing. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And uh, again, this is sort of the successor to the featherweight for those of you who are not familiar with the 301. Uh, it is loved by sewers and quilters alike. Um, it has more power than the featherweight and is still portable, although it does weigh a little bit more. Um, and also uh, included with the listing is a rolled hammer foot. And there are two, a total of three vintage bobbins. One is in the machine, uh, featherweight uh, class bobbins. You have the original uh, Singer owner's manual. Now the front and the back covers are missing, but all of the content is here and it's fully functional, uh, functioning. Um, and so it's a very, very useful owner's manual. You just don't have the covers. The other thing that was done, and, and again, there are other things listed that we did to this machine. Uh, the underbelly pan was removed. The old felt pad, which, had, which was full of oil from, from oiling over the years, was taken off. A brand new felt pad was installed in the machine this machine also comes with a cradle. Uh, the 301 is designed to go into a Singer sewing cabinet, but one of the great innovations of this design is instead of having to bolt it in and out every time you remove it like some of the other machines, this machine was designed actually to sit in a cradle. So you can see here the cradle will bolt into a Singer cabinet. And then <clears throat> this 301, uh, you actually slide it in and then the cradle clips and holds it in place. When you want to take the machine out, let's say you want to go to a quilting or a meeting and you want to take it with you, you simply release the cradle, the machine comes out, and uh, you're ready to take it away. So you don't have to get off your screwdriver every time. Well, these cradles also had felt pads because other machines, uh, excuse me, when a machine would drip oil, they also had uh, uh, pads as well. The old pad on the cradle was removed, the cradle was cleaned, and then again a new pad was installed with adhesive. So. Uh, we really went through the machine, uh, and she's ready to sew. So take a look, and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.